This game is just chill. What's it about? Flying, and it just works. The sequel to the N64 launch title, Pilot Wing 64, shows that video games can be more than just bronze and muscle. And not every game has to be The Legend of Zelda, or Mario, or Call of Duty. Sometimes just flying around on Woohoo Island can be more fun than anything else. In my earlier childhood, I loved Mario sports games. And what was my favorite? Mario Power Tennis, a great game for the GameCube, and pretty good for the Wii as well. So naturally, I was so excited for this game. And what I think of it? Meh, a fun time waster at best. The online is fun, except for when you play against those sweaty tryhards abusing every glitch I can possibly find. So it's probably better just to stick against your friends, but in all in all, this game is still a fun time waster, and I definitely recommend it. Honestly, I didn't play much of this game, but from what I did play, I absolutely fell in love with it. Kid Icarus has never been this good and complete, and that's what this game feels like. It's a complete experience. In a generation where sequels are crapped out, this is a nice refresher to see a developer take their time and finish a game. Talk about underrated. This game is a gem, and I'm glad to have stumbled upon it during 3DS's drought of games. When I first saw this game, I thought, wow, another Mario Kart clone from Sega. But in reality, I couldn't be more wrong. This game is much different and better in a few ways. It takes the aspects of older Mario Karts that I love and gets around to some of the newer ones I'm not such a big fan of. Is it better than Mario Kart? No, but it doesn't have to be. If you're a fan of kart racers or Sega, then pick this game up. Well, you saw this one coming. Mario Kart 7 is best described as Mario Kart Wii for the 3DS. And quite frankly, there is nothing wrong with that. To be fair, it isn't the same exact game. There are a couple different characters and tracks, but in all honesty, this game is beautiful, refined, definitive kart racing experience. A must buy for any 3DS owner and well worth the wait. I love Paper Mario. My favorite game of all time is Thousand Year Door. So expectedly, I hold pretty high standards for this series. And how does this game hold up? Pretty well. It's not as great as my beloved GameCube masterpiece, but, it, but it's in the ballpark. What's good is back to the turn-based fighting style that I love. Although I did like Super Paper Mario, I do prefer this style of combat. What's bad? No partners. This sucks, and honestly, I hate the decision. The story is just not as well developed because there are no quirky and charming characters. Also, there's not an open world. This game just doesn't feel like a Paper Mario game. It is disappointing, but all, but in all, it is still pretty dang good and holds a number 5 spot on this list. Mario is Mario, and although this game gets knocked for lack of creativity and originality, it is still fun. Very fun fact, and that's what makes Mario games great, and that idea is very alive in this instance. Also, I love the coin aspect of the game. Although some may just call it a gimmick, it is a very fun one at that. In fact, it's not really a gimmick at all, instead a core gameplay feature that adds depth and fun to the game. Yeah, it's not my favorite new Mario Bros game, that title goes to the one on Wii U. It's still a good one at that, and that's why it is number 4 on this list. This is one of the more unique experiences you'll ever get with Super Mario. A game that blends 2D and 3D style gameplay with a stunning 3D visuals. This game delivers on just what the 3DS needed in a time where it needed a lot. And this game is a lot. This game is great. This is one of the few games where the 3D is not just a gimmick. Instead, it is a key feature to the game. It often feels like a combination of Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario 64, and it's done very well. Better than originally expected. When I first heard of this kind of gameplay style, I was skeptical. And honestly, I'm glad because the 3D Mario visuals just, or well, the 3D Mario landscape just does not work well on handheld systems as seen in Super Mario 64 DS. And the 2D is just kind of getting old, so this was just what the 3DS needed and a gem on the 3DS.
How do you improve perfection? Just ask Nintendo and co-developer Grezzo, because that is what they have done. In fact, the only reason this game is not number one on this list is because it's not a new game. The experience is, however, not supposed to feel new. I feel the game is supposed to feel reminiscent and nostalgic. There's not much about this game I can say that hasn't already been said. This is a masterpiece, and it's even better in 3D. If you guys want to know how to make a port, this is how it should be done. Not making a new experience out of an old beloved game, instead just improving on the experience. It is The Legend of Zelda, and it is the greatest game of all time, now in 3D. The newest game on this list is also the best. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon is the best game for the 3DS as of right now. And this game is a more refined, more elegant, and more fun version of Luigi's Mansion than we've ever seen before. Don't get me wrong guys, I love the GameCube original, but this game just takes it to a whole nother level. The personality of Luigi is shockingly amazing. As he hums the theme song, you do as well. When he's scared, you feel for him, and when he's happy, you smile a little bit too. This game is fantastic. There is so much more to do, the depth is amazing, and the gameplay is just flawless. And the puzzles, oh my god, don't even get me started on the puzzles, guys. I spent one hour doing a puzzle in like the first level of the game, and it's not frustrating at all, but the feeling when you beat a level on this game is amazing. You feel like, you know, video game champion of the world, <laughs> however lame that sounds. This game, guys, is an A+, a, almost a perfect game, and I, I can't even believe it, guys. You have to go pick it up and try it for yourself. It's Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon and is the best game on 3DS. If you're an owner of Nintendo 3DS, or just thinking of becoming one. And really, if you're neither one yet, what's wrong with you?